In today's video, I'm going to show you what comes with the Janome M17. Hi, I'm Kim Jamison Hurst from Chatterbox Quilts, and we are looking at the Janome M17, and I wanted to do an unboxing video for you, but as you can see, the boxes are so huge, I didn't think we'd be able to fit them all into the video space we have. So I've taken the machine and everything that comes with it out of the box, and I want to show you, just give you an overview of the things that come with this fantastic Janome top of the line machine. So if you didn't already know, the Janome M17 is what we call a combination machine. So you have the sewing machine part and you have the embroidery part. So it combines an embroidery module with what we think of as a typical sewing machine. So I've got it set up here. One of the combination setups you can have for it because there's uh, kind of more than one actually with this machine. But I wanted to show you uh, the overview of it. So you've got the M17 here, of course, and this part here that goes around the machine bed, this whole part here is your embroidery module. So you're going to be able to attach different hoops here and do embroidery with this machine in this setup. And part of this setup is storage. So at the front and at the back here, you actually have storage compartments. So they have a little lid that lifts off. I'll take the one off in the back here. You probably won't be able to see it very well. It just kind of pops off, but there's storage back here. But this is a top, the top that actually comes right off. Now I said there's different combinations and what I meant was there's different tops for these storage units. So you can have a wider, call them like wings, that you can have which extends the area of your machine bed, which is great for free motion quilting. And I kind of think of, let me just put this back on here again, you might hear some noise back here. Okay, there we go. And I kind of think of this whole area here as being really, really great for free motion quilting for a number of reasons. First off, there's a lot of room there. And as I said, if you change off these tops to the wider ones, then you have even more room. And the embroidery module itself kind of stops your quilt from falling off the edge of your table. So that's kind of nice. So you don't have that drag that can happen when your quilts are going off. I know there's nothing to stop it this way, but there definitely is in this direction. So you can just leave it on and use the machine as it is. Or, of course, you can remove the embroidery module, and I'm going to do that because I want to show you the hoops that come with it and the accessories as well. And to remove this module, again, very difficult to show you here with my setup, but first off, you need to take off these little storage units. So you would take the top off, and then the little parts, the storage area, just slides right off. And then I'm able to remove the module. At the end, underneath, there's a latch. You just pull it. And this is on wheels, so it'll just slide very nicely off. Now, having said that, <laughs> let's admit, these are both heavy parts. The machine itself weighs over 38 pounds. I think the embroidery module is over 20. So you may need help to move things around. So just want to let you know, you probably figured that out once you took it out of the box. But let me just go take off the embroidery module, taking off those storage compartments first, then the embroidery module slides out, being very careful with it, of course. Then I can show you what the machine looks like by itself. And as I said, I'm going to show you the hoops and the accessories that come with it. So you can see I've taken the embroidery module off the M17 and it's still a pretty big machine, <laughs> as you can tell. But I moved it off the side because I want to talk about even though I've taken the module off, I want to talk about embroidery. So one of the things you get with the Janome M17 is Artistic Digitizer Junior. So this is a software you can use when you're doing embroidery um, to create designs, to modify designs. The machine comes with built-in designs. This is extremely helpful. There's also Janome uh, Artistic Digitizer rather than the Junior. So this is a little bit less as far as features, but it's extremely helpful software to have and work with your embroidery on your Janome M17. So you get that with the machine. Now I want to talk about some of the hoops that you get. You get five different hoops with this machine. So it has got the largest embroidery hoop, which I'm going to show you on the market today as well. And you also get magnets for some of the hoops you can use magnets. So what uh, you can do with some of these larger hoops is you can quilt in the hoop. So you could actually take your quilt, put it in the hoop. You can use the magnets to hold it down and you can quilt these continuous designs again down. There are some that are already in the machine. You can download more and you can actually quilt your hoop that way, which can be really helpful if you have a large quilt. It can be helpful if you don't have a long arm. <laughs> it can be just helpful in general because you get beautiful quilting using your embroidery function on the Janome M17. 
So you've got the magnets that work with that as well to hold uh, that quilt in the hoop or any embroidery, of course, if you want to do that. Really great for um, pieces that are a little bit thicker. So if you're using something other than cotton or you've got several layers of batting or something like that happening, that's where the magnets really come in handy, as does the very large hoop that I'll show you in a minute. Now, I got to admit, even though I'm in a metric country in Canada, I still go by inches. So I really like the fact that they have these hoops and it tells you either the size in metric or in inches in imperial uh, measurements. So first one, the smallest one is this SQD SQ10D. Okay, I can never remember what they call them to me. This is the four inch hoop. Okay, so it's actually 3.9 by 3.9 inches or in metric 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. So that's your smallest little hoop that comes with the machine. So helpful for little small embroideries. Then you have one and that's square. Okay, this one's rectangular. This is a 5.5 by 7.9 inch hoop. This is the RE20D hoop. It is 140 by 200 millimeters. And you'll notice with all of these that they have the placement guides in them as well so that you can actually center your designs perfectly or, you know, place them wherever you want. They're gridded. They pop in and out easily. I always put my hand underneath, but really you can just put your finger in the top and put them in there. And there's little uh, cutout areas that will fit into these little uh, protrusions on the hoop. All right. And then things get dramatically larger. Then we have this hoop, which is the ASQ27D. This is a 10.8 inch square hoop. If you're in millimeters, 274 by 274 millimeters. Okay, this one is quite major. You can see you can use the magnets on this particular one. The placement guide is acrylic, a little thicker than the other ones. And I've got to admit, I haven't got into the embroidery side of this machine yet. So I'm looking forward to exploring what I can do with these various hoops and why some of them are slightly different. Um, I also know that they load up on the embroidery module quite differently than what was uh, the case in other machines. So I'm looking forward to explaining that. Of course, that'll be another video. I'm just gonna move this hoop to the back here because it's getting a little difficult to show you these here with the space I have. So we have another square hoop. This is a 20, uh, sorry, an SQ28D and it is 11 inches square or 280 millimeters square, again, with your placement guide in there. So another great large size hoop. And then we come to the largest hoop on the market right now. This is an industry first. And this is, and I've got this, my placement guide in upside down for me, so I can't even tell you what it is. This is the RE46D, RE46D. So 11 inches by 18.1 inches. That is a big, big hoop. It is 280 by 460 millimeters. And just to show you how big it is, it's very large. So you've got all these wonderful hoops. You've got the software that you need to work with the embroidery module and all the different hoops on this machine. So that's the embroidery side of things. But let's go back to the sewing machine sewing machine side of things because I want to show you some of the accessories that come that are really, really helpful with the Janome M17. Let's take a look at the accessories that come with the Janome M17. So you have this gorgeous accessory box, as you can see, it is all fabric, has a nice little carrying handle as well. So I love the look of this, very sleek and professional looking. And I'm just going to open it up now and show you what's inside. <laughs> Okay, and it's all padded on the top too, which is nice because it keeps everything nice and compressed in here so things don't move around. So you actually have, I'm just gonna move this off the side for a second so you can see, there's actually three different levels. And the other one just stays in the bottom. You can, you can take it out if you want, I just leave it in the bottom there. They all have little carrying handles on them so you can pick them up and move them around and everything. And they all have spaces for the different feet and accessories that come with this machine. So really well thought out. I absolutely love having places to put things instead of, you know, just scattered around my studio. <laughs> okay. And they have the names of the different feet on them. So they actually have their own little spot and their little indents are specifically for that particular foot or accessory. Okay. So I tend to have this one on top. You can stack them any way you want. They all fit down together. Um, and, but I have this one on top typically because it's got all the feet in it. So 
Um, I'm not going to go through all the feet on this machine. You can see the manual online and it shows you everything that comes with it. I just want to highlight a few things that are a little bit different. Um, you've got different AccuFeed Flex feet. So you have a VD foot. You also have a stitch in the ditch, what I call stitch in the ditch foot, the SD foot. These are come with the machine. Some of them have their own, like the VD one, it comes on its own holder actually. Some of the other ones you can switch on and off with the regular AccuFeed Flex foot. But these are ones that you typically have to buy as optional accessories. So there's a lot that comes with this machine that normally you'd have to buy separately. So that's really great, of course. Um, you've got the optic magnifier. There's three of those. And for those of us who have, you know, eyesight that isn't quite as perfect as it used to be, having these is really, really helpful. Magnifies that needle area. You've got the three needle plates that you would have with some of the other top of the line Janome machines really helpful. But the one thing that is really something that, and I've got it actually on the machine right now, it's going to see where it is it's actually on the machine, is the accurate stitch regulator. So that comes with it. It's actually on my machine right now. But this is the first stitch regulator that Janome has on any of their machines. And what's really cool about it is that not only do you have it for free motion quilting and there's different feet you can take on and off but you also have it for ruler work and that is an industry first as well so that comes with the machine so the asr the accurate stitch regulator feature is something new on this machine and it comes with all the feet you're going to need to use that as well that's also another video but i like the fact that i've got this little case that is very compact everything fits in its own little place inside there it's great and, you know, it looks very stylish in my studio as well. There's a few other things I just wanted to show you. Of course, there's a foot pedal with the machine. So you have this nice big foot pedal that comes with the machine. You also have a thread cutter foot. So there's a thread cutter, an automatic thread cutter on the machine. It's a button you can press to cut your threads or you can set it to automatically cut your threads after certain stitches. But you can also have this thread cutter pedal. So that's maybe the way you want to cut your threads and they will both go on a holder, okay? So you can put both of them on this and that'll go on the floor. Or if you just want to put the foot pedal on, you don't want to use a thread cutter, you can do that as well. So you've got some options there. I also wanted to show you, I talked about these wings that you could put on those storage cubbies. So here's the bigger wings <laughs> that you can put on the front and the back. So you can see that when you have these on the machine, there'll be somewhere around there, that they give you a lot of extra room, which I mentioned was great for uh, free motion quilting or ruler quilting. You also have a knee lifter with this machine. So new, I haven't even taken the <laughs> plastic coating off yet, but that fits in the front of the machine. And you can use the knee lifter for various things on this machine. Typically, you use it to uh, raise the presser foot if you want to do that uh, manually, because there's an automatic function on the machine too. But... If you want to do that, you can use that. You can also use it with the variable zigzag stitch. And I'll get into that in another video as well. Okay. So that's a quick overview of everything that comes with the Janome M17. There is so much that comes with this machine. It does just about everything except make me tea. Haven't figured out how to get do that yet. But if you are a sewist or you love to do machine embroidery, it's got everything you need to do that no matter what project you're working on. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want more helpful quilting information, be sure to go to my website at www.chatterboxquilts.com.